Okay, let's continue our tour of the phylogeny. Um, we'll look at rodents through edentates. And if we think about this group, if we go back to this ancestor here, this group would be a paraphyletic group, right? If we included this ancestor and we didn't include these, this group we're about to talk about now would be paraphyletic. So that's rodents through anteaters and sloths and armadillos, this portion of the mammal phylogeny right there. So rodents, which include beavers and naked mole rats, which are the only ectothermic mammals. Um, capybaras are the biggest rodents. And then rats, which are just a furry tail away from acceptance. This group is very specious. There's a large number of different rodent species. Their sister group are lagomorphs. So lagomorphs are rabbits, hares, and pikas, or pikas. So arctic hare this is a pika. So if you've ever wondered where Pikachu gets his name from, Chu is a Japanese word for energy. Pika or pika comes from this, so he's basically like energy pika or energy pika. So this group is sister to rodents. They also have a number of species, but they're not as diverse as rodents. Dermopterans are called flying lemurs. They're neither lemurs nor do they fly, but they're their own order. So they can glide. You can see they have these, this webbing here. So they can glide from tree to tree. They don't fly. They're not primates, they're their own order with not that many species that live arboreally in the trees. Scandentia are tree shrews, so their shrew is a common name, right? So that's not a technical name, right? Insectivores also included some shrews. Scandentia are their own order of tree shrews, distinct from the other orders. And in fact, this is our best guess. If we were to pick an order of mammals living today, that are kind of the most similar to what we think of as the ancestral mammal for all other modern mammals, this is what it would kind of look like. This is probably what that first mammal was like that was kind of hanging around dodging the dinosaurs while they were in charge and started to speciate when they didn't do so well at the last extinction. So primates, this is primates are monkeys, apes, and humans. So this is an orangutan here. Um, if you don't know what humans look like, this is the, the safest for work picture of a human I could get that showed a lot of skin. Uh, this is what lemurs look like, howler monkeys. So this group of primates, it's a not particularly specious group, but of course it's an interesting group because we're in it. Also, apes have a lot of interesting features as well, and then monkeys have quite a lot of interesting behaviors. These are xenarthans, also called edentata. Edentata means like without teeth. He means without dentata's teeth. So this is anteaters, sloths, and armadillos. Here's a baby silky anteater. Anteaters can be quite big. This is him walking around hunting for ant mound. Armadillos are also in this group. The sloths spend their life upside down in the trees. Baby sloths are super cute. Uh, sloths actually look very weird when they come down from the trees because they don't actually navigate the ground nearly as well as they navigate the trees. 